I sent my uh, my gun back to Bull Armory. Uh, I think December twenty second. They sent me a shipping label, and it arrived here maybe the tenth or the twelfth of December. I let it sit because I was doing some other things, and I wanted to kind of make sure that uh, uh, there were some things I wanted to do before I sent it in. Uh, so I sent it in on the twenty second. And the plan was to not bother them, not badger them about the gun. Uh, give them a month to sort it out because of the holidays. And uh, and even if it weren't the holidays, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not one to kind of be badgering folks for you know for a particular service. I know that they they have other customers besides me, um, and they have other business besides that. So I wanted to give them a, a fair chance. Um, in fixing the issue um, and I got an email today today is the 17th um, saying that uh it's ready to be shipped back to me um, so they didn't s explain exactly what the issue was which is it's not concerning as long as I get the gun back and it and it works as advertised. I mean, the gun was working before. The only thing was, is the grip safety wasn't working. Uh, I was actually able to pull the trigger without uh, disengaging the grip safety. Um, so here, they gave me a listing of what they did. Uh, so they said the pistol underwent a full inspection. Uh, and we made sure all the different components are within spec. Um, the chamber has been polished. Um, the ramp was moved forward and polished as an extra uh, adjusted mags specs checked extractor tension uh, fitting slide barrel ejector grip has been adjusted uh, thumb safety um, and it says all the safety components work properly and the, and the pistol was then test fired and it works as it should. So it's cool that they did that, that extra tuning and stuff. But my concern is, is that the gun was working fine before I have it, before I had it, uh, and now I might have issues with it because they messed with something that may not have been wrong with the gun. Uh, I'm not sure all of that applied to the, the grip safety issue. I highly doubt it. Um, it was extracting fine. Um, the ejector, it was ejecting fine. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with the barrel. Um, they checked the extractor tension. Um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that they, there was nothing wrong with that. Um, the mags. I only sent one mag with the gun because I wanted. I didn't want to send them all and end up them only shipping one back. Uh, so I gave them just enough for them to kind of troubleshoot with the gun. Uh, and with that being said, I don't think I'm pretty sure the mags weren't the issue with uh with that grip safety not working so i am not going to complain just yet but i am concerned uh, somewhat concerned because they did a lot of work on the gun that maybe you know it wasn't called for um so they did send me, send me an email wanting to ensure that they have the correct mailing address uh, which is cool. Um, it's actually that's really cool because uh, the one that they quoted was wrong. Um, they got the street name wrong. Um, one character wrong, but that that can change how things are mailed. And I do not want a a gun being shipped to someone else's house. Uh, so I emailed them back, you know, telling them the correct address. Um, and I'm assuming they'll either ship out the gun 
they'll probably ship it out tomorrow because right now it's uh it's almost five o'clock p.m east coast time um so i'm on the same time zone as they are um so hopefully it'll be back uh so let's see tomorrow is thursday maybe it'll be back this weekend but it's, it's coming straight here um so i i am I am kind of cool with the gun. Uh, but what I, I don't, another thing I don't want, I don't uh, I guess I haven't considered is with all the changes they made to the gun, I'm probably gonna have to go through a test phase again, um, just to ensure that I have a dependable gun uh, because of all the things that they've changed or checked. Uh, so they didn't just check; they they made a lot of adjustments. It seems like. Um, and, and again, that's cool. That's probably considered a, 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 a tune. And well, I guess what, what 1911 owner doesn't want the vendor to tune their gun, but it's, it's pretty much a new gun. It shouldn't need to be tuned. It should, should be highly functional straight from their stock, you know, their stock of guns. So, uh, again you know the biggest concern for me is them mucking around with things that that were already working and i'll get back the gun and you know they may have fixed one issue but they caused another or several so so we will see um we will we will go through a test phase maybe shoot uh three or four hundred rounds through it just to test and make sure that everything is indeed okay before we carry again. We'll still be carrying the S15. Um, so so that's cool. I didn't have to chase them down. They got to me before I got to them. But I was looking at the calendar and I was looking at today and I'm like, damn, it's the 17th. I haven't heard anything back from them yet. And uh, I was kind of close to just reaching out to them and saying, hey, uh, what's the status on the gun? It's it's not quite 30 days, but close. So, so it's it's kind of good that they reached out to me before they, you know, before I reached out to them. So, it's, it's, but um, I will not complain unless there is actually a legitimate something to complain about once I get the gun back. Uh, one of the things that I've been noticing, um, I've been getting a lot of views um, the last few uh, uh, videos that I posted. Uh, lots of hits, lots of uh, uh, traffic, which is cool. Um, but the last video, I'm not sure if people are kind of get, getting me wrong here. So when I said that I shipped uh, the Bull Armory back to the vendor, it wasn't me trying to ding or trying to throw shade at Bull Armory. Um, guns, you know, guns are human made. Um, there's no such thing as an infallible gun maker uh, or gun. So, you know, I while I was disappointed, uh, I mean that I'm a firm believer in, and 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 I guess that's what customer service is all about. That's what that's why it's in place. That's why warranties are in place. Uh, so I'm a firm believer in warranties and customer service. Uh, you know, some good, some guns need them, some guns don't. Uh, this wouldn't be the first gun that I sent to a vendor. Um, there have been other guns. I've had some SIGs that were sent back. I've had some Canics that were sent back. Um, so, I mean, to me, it's business as usual, as long as they, they fix the issue. So I don't wanna get a gun back and it's still, you know, acting, uh, being unsafe. Um, or, or not functioning properly um, because, I mean, I, I carry the guns. You know, there are certain guns that I carry and so I need them to be dependable. Uh, the ones that aren't dependable are the ones, are the ones that I put in, in back of my safe. Um, so um, I don't, I don't I try not to sell guns. Um, those guns that I don't think are dependable will, will still be shot. They'll just be shot as a range toy. So, um, the bull armory we'll, we'll assess it we'll, we'll see what's going on with that 
Uh, but again, I wasn't throwing shade. I'm just documenting things as they happen. Uh, good things happen, I talk about. Bad things happen, I talk about. Uh, because I believe in sharing um, data points. You know, this particular gun is is one gun of many. It's a sample of one. Um, so so that you know, in my opinion, that just means. I might ha have had an issue with the gun that warranted me sending it back. That doesn't mean that um, my neighbor who might have a, the same gun will have the same issue. Um, it's just hit or miss. I mean, it, even people that own staccatos and will some combats, you know, I'm reading in the 2011 forums and the 1911 forums, I do see people kind of saying that they sent their three thousand plus dollar gun back to the you know to the mothership to be uh uh i guess worked on uh so so it happens with all all tiers of guns um so with that being said that's it